Hey, welcome with us, folks. Nice to have you back. This one is about RCL. We played RCL after earnings, and it was a tricky one because it started tanking pretty hard after we entered. And I remained bullish, and I told you guys in chat I was very bullish on the play, and here's why. I'll try to explain why I was still bullish on the play. You know, Royal Caribbean Group, RCL, is a cruise line and i'll show you that this is the daily chart i'll show you what happened see this this 220 2020 sorry uh, around uh, february they had a boat in japan and it was docked and quarantined quarantine for um at least I, I believe more than two weeks because of that covid eclosion they had on board and it it was docked for so long that eventually people started thinking well you know trying to go on a cruise is not going to be easy in the next few days and not in the next few weeks so this is what happened we alerted that in chat and i believe we played the weeklies or the following week down when it broke the 100 mark and then it came down all the way to 220 dollars um we didn't play it that far, but that was when the market was tanking hard and then it started recovering. So basically somebody in March and April could see that eventually uh, the earth is going to start spinning again and that we're going to get out of that COVID. So long story short, if you see from that March, it's slowly coming back. It, a lot of tickers came back a lot quicker, but this one is slowly coming back. And I'm coming to this, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit about what the situation is right now. So basically, uh, this is last winter, you know, March and April. Basically, it's kind of in a, ch in a channel. And then in June, we had this very bullish way of thinking that, you know, we're reopening. Um, people have seen they've had vaccines and life is going back to what we think was it was before however there is a um, new closure of the delta variant and it's going uh, stronger than we thought and it's hitting europe more than we thought so basically time for cruise lines are harder so basically it's mo moving downstream quite a bit and if we see all the way down to the 19th of of july where we see that we are down to a certain point and it hit a certain line and then it's moving back up now we're heading towards earnings and that was yesterday obviously earnings people were kind of scared they knew numbers weren't going to be great so in the in the last week or so or a little more it started tanking and moving back down towards this old resist uh, sorry support and this is what i mean this is where it started rejecting the, the green line here's a 200 ema and it started rejecting rejecting the line and it's heading downwards now if we were really bearish what would have happened basically this here was when the delta variant was hitting hard and people were starting to get scared but we decided no ain't that bad we're moving back up earnings are coming up people are scared saying well numbers are probably not going to be pretty and guidance is going to be iffy at best because we're not really sure where we're going with this uh with this new variant so the earnings are out whatever the earnings are saying this is the candle for that day if we had been very bearish what would have happened is this we would have gone way down test at least the support right maybe a little bit under and test it on the way up 
see if now it see if it's resistance if it's resistance again and then a flush down because we would have lost this support but we didn't not only the fact that we didn't but this is the previous day look at how the action is happening basically i'll show you i'll zoom in a little later but i want to show you something now i'll put in the um a line i always tell you about support and resistance lines so you want to see this wick at the bottom on july 19th what is it all about put the drawing drawing on look at this black line oh all of a sudden it has a connection before this big rise in february see it has a connection so basically it was used as support bounce on that support and you know that now it's using it again see this came down to this very line started to be very bullish now it's using it again now you know this is a tough line if we had been that bearish we would have tested it on earnings or at least right after the open but we didn't we didn't flush all the way down to this line because we were people were buying this bottom also now this is really technical and you need to be aware of this who else was reporting the following day you had win resort who was reporting the following day you also had booking who was reporting the following day so basically hints about where people are going about people traveling will give a good idea about where the cruise lines are heading as well so knowing that booking and win hadn't reported yet reported yet we know that something is happening because we're still very bullish and let me go a little further back just to tell you how this line is getting used and you see here a little further back that this used to be a strong resistance point right there see those two red candles resistance points on that very same line so i'm not saying that this line is magic i'm just saying that support and resistance lines are there because of something now let me zoom in on this on the five minute this is after earnings this is where it gets really technical This is the day before earnings. People were scared. There's a sell off. We find support. This is the day before the earnings. People are not they, they are not aware of what's happening with with the um with what they are going to present after hours uh, on the following day. So let's assume that the amount of fear here is kind of brave because they know people buying here they're not aware of what's happening on earnings but they're like hmm i feel we're pretty much at the bottom so they start buying and what you see is higher low higher low higher low so basically it's cranking up coiling up and at the end of the day it started moving up to a certain point which is very close to 75 ish plus right this is after hours then this is where the news hit earnings weren't that great 
no one is surprised about it. And this is the price action. We started tanking, not all the way down to that black line we showed you just on the daily chart before. Nope. Huge volume started to pick up. And if you see this huge line, somebody bought a huge amount. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's Kevin, but I know a lot of people saw this volume bar and were, were very impressed about it. So what I'm saying and what I'm seeing about this two th are a couple of things. This is where the brave people started piling in. This is where support was pre-market. And this is just before the end of the day, previous, just before earnings, the support. And if you extend it, this is where we, we, uh, we close. So intraday, yesterday, this is the price action. We crossed the brave ones here went above pretty much rejected this support this um, old support that became resistance but we were still inside this price action we were still among the people that were not sure about what's going to happen in in after earnings and what's this is telling what this is telling us is this these people here did not care about earnings they said i don't mind getting in here because i'm happy about how low we are and i think it's going to bounce these people were bullish enough saying whatever happens with earnings i'm holding Basically, after earnings, we have the same crowd of people saying we're still in the same price action, saying we're after earnings. We kind of like where we're going. And we take the chance that when and booking reporting after us will be in the, in the same boat. So this price action, I said in chat, we are inside yesterday's price action. It's getting a little messy. Let's let, uh, let me get rid of this. These guys were also included in these guys. So I was happy where we were to say, hmm, after the news, we're still inside people that were ballsy to hold. I think now you don't need balls to hold. You know where we're going and that only way is up. This here rejected the 200 EMA, it opened right above it, right? We decided to take profit right here. Why? My entry was here. As soon as we crossed this price action, bullish move, bullish, um, let me go back a little bit so I'll show you. This is the bulls from previous day, right? As soon as we cross the bulls from the previous day with volume, this is where I was interested in the ticker and this is where we entered. Now this was a fake move up and it started moving down afterwards. Um, that was that, that happened very quickly, but I was still bullish on the play and I stayed in because as soon as we opened, um, it started moving up the first target you guys know it it's the first resistance 
And where this is, is this. This is pretty clear. See this line here? Happens to be right there as well. This is where I took profit on, on the swing. Swing was red here at the bottom, you can assume so. And it became a 30 plus percent when once we got there. My second target was in this area. It was in the 76 area, which happened to be there. Um, and then we saw that win and booking was moving up and up. So this was bound to go up even higher. So it ended up being this kind of area where it stopped in the 78 section. Um, I took whatever left I had right here for a, a good amount. But nonetheless, the idea behind all this is seeing that there was a strong support below that we never hit on the daily strong support that could have been tested again that was tested on july 19th we never went there and bulls showing up inside the previous day price action where people are not aware of what's coming up we're still inside the same situation with people with now knowledge of where they're going so this is what and why i was very bullish and remained in the play for this um ramp up obviously it could have been a lot better if we'd held but the idea is not to hit a home run that we lose the ball out of the park the idea is to build on something strong and I surely hope that you guys were part of it. And if not, well, I surely hope that you guys are learning from this video. So um, if you have uh, any questions, don't hesitate. Um, we, can, uh, we can always chat. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks.